What's up everybody? I'm back with another tutorial video and today I'm going to teach you the easiest and quickest way to create a vertical line in Squarespace. Yeah! So if you found this video and you're like me, you've probably searched for this topic before, especially on YouTube. And as far as I know, everybody out there online that I've seen offers a way to create vertical lines in Squarespace with custom code. But every time I've ever tried to do that, it might look good on desktop view or like in a certain screen size, but as soon as you switch to mobile view or change the screen size, it is a hot mess and just really doesn't work out. So I wanted to create this video to share it with you all, but basically my secret way of creating vertical lines for both my website and for my clients' websites is actually just to create a custom graphic in Canva and save it as an image file with a transparent background around it and upload it to your website. So I'll show you real quick how to do that. And I'll even link the template for this vertical line so that you can utilize it, replicate it, customize it, and finally have gorgeous vertical lines on your Squarespace website too. And my final little thing to note before I get into it is that you will need to be using Squarespace 7.1 Fluid Engine to access all of these features. So if you're on an older version of Squarespace, then probably this tutorial won't quite work for you. So first things first, as far as creating the vertical line goes in Canva, all you have to do, I'll link again this template down at the bottom of this video. Then you can open it up and click on everything. But basically the way this is set up is that the file size is a half of a inch by 10 inches. And the line itself is like one line weight here on Canva. And I have it here in black, but all of that is customizable. And so if you need to make thicker lines on your website, you can adjust that in Canva before exporting the file. Same thing goes if you need to change the color or even make it white or anything else. You can do that here in Canva first. And then when you're ready to upload it to your website, you just go up to share, download, and make sure to save it as a PNG file with a transparent background. And you'll need Canva Pro in order to save it with a transparent background. Just FYI and heads up. But yeah, once you download that, then on your website, a couple of the little settings and nuances here to keep in mind is that to get the line to span to both the top and bottom of the section, you'll need to have the fill screen button deselected just so that all the content on that section goes to the margins. And then what you'll do is go to add block, image, and upload your vertical line and make sure the background is transparent. And then you can stretch it across the entire section on the page. This is where too, like if you had a shorter section, you might wanna save the vertical line as a little bit thicker because since it is a graphic, it's going to stretch to the proportions of the box that it's set inside. And then just double check and make sure that fit is the setting that it's on because um, fill would completely change the way that it looks. And if you want, you can drag it um, so that it's tucked in nicer in the grid lines and just make sure to hit save and you're all good to go on desktop view. But now you're probably wondering what about mobile view? And this is where vertical lines have definitely been a little tricky in the past because on Squarespace, you can't really just hide an element. It's part of both the desktop and the mobile view. And vertical lines definitely like fit the design and layout of desktop view much more than mobile the majority of the time. So real quick, I'll show you how I approach the mobile view layout, which is pretty quick and simple. So automatically you might see your mobile view layout convert to something like this. And I definitely did not want that line showing up anywhere on the homepage of my website. So what you can do in Fluid Engine is you can make the line extremely tiny and see it's like barely even showing up now and hide it behind an image. So I'm going to set it there and then just make sure that I say move backward so it's all the way in the back and then just fix the content and layout here. And we are good to go. If you're happy with that, one final little detail though is that if your website page loads a little bit slowly, that line might come up before your photo that shows up on top of it. And so one way that you can avoid that happening is if you create a background shape. So yeah, this is uh, going a little bit above and beyond, but just trying to foolproof this as much as possible without needing to like integrate some clunky code 
is that you can add a shape on Squarespace right behind whatever image you have here and just set the color of the shape as the same color as the background on that section of your website. And so here on desktop view, it's like hidden, nobody sees that shape. Then on mobile view, if you set that so that it completely covers that main image, but it's still layering on top of the straight line, then that's all you gotta do. So as you can see, I use vertical lines multiple times on my website and I've gone about it this way every single time because there is no way I would have possibly been able to figure that out with custom code and adjust it to like every single screen size and mobile view layout kind of scenario possible. Well, friends, that about wraps up everything for today. If you like this video and found it helpful, please like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Feel free to visit my website, luminescentdreams.com. You can check out the different web design services that I offer there. I have custom web design services, VIP days, which are four hour website work sessions where I get into super detailed custom edits. And I also do quick fix, quick question sessions for one hour where you can just book me to have a chat about your website, answer any questions you have, or make a really quick edit. All right, that's all for now. Looking forward to staying in touch. Follow me on Instagram too. I'm there sometimes as well.